Okay, so for verse and devotion today, it's going to get probably step on your toes quite a bit. We've been going over the commandments, and I'm wrapping that up today um, to get a little transparent here. I actually just had, I don't want to say an argument, but kind of a, a mom frustration moment. And... <laughs> devices, you know, our phones and the iPads and all these things. And I don't know about you guys, but my kids, um, I have to tell them to read a scripture verse. I have to tell them, you know, or even ask them and, you know, with, I don't even know the word at the moment, but I have to say to them, did you read a scripture verse today? Did you understand it? Did you put the iPad down long enough to do something like that. Did you take the trash out? Because they're so consumed with electronics now. Um, quite frankly, it gets on my nerves. I, I hate it, honestly. So I'm just, I'm just being honest here. I'm a mom and I have the same issues that everybody else does with their kids and electronics and devices today. But I said all that to say this, I'm trying to make an effort with them. I'm trying to get their noses out of that and into the word every day, um, into prayer time every day, into listening to the Holy Spirit every day, because we're supposed to do that as parents. And the problem is parents aren't doing that anymore. If anything, they're giving the devices to their kids because they don't want to be bothered by them. They don't want to deal with their kids nagging them. They don't want to be a parent. That's a lot of it. Is it hard to be a parent? Yes. But is it our responsibility to teach them the things of God? Yes. So, if you go to Deuteronomy <clears throat> chapter 6, verses 6 through 9, this is what it tells us as parents. It says... These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. And it's talking about the Ten Commandments and the, all the commandments that we've went over these past several days. Okay? These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home. And when you walk along the road, I drive my boys nuts. <laughs> I do. I drive them nuts with, you know, is it, do you love Jesus for you? Or do you love Jesus because you just don't want to go to hell? Or do you love Jesus because mom loves Jesus? And they tell me that they love Jesus for themselves, but... What are they going to be like when they get old enough to move out and get on their own? Is it going to be their faith? Or is it going to be what mom and dad had? I don't want that. I want them to have it for themselves. Do you understand that? You want your kids to have their faith for themselves. The statistics of kids leaving the faith nowadays after they get out of um, high school is disgusting. It's like 80%, okay? We're not doing something right, moms and dads. We've got to step up our game. And prayer is a huge one. But this, let me finish this verse. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and your gates. Now they're talking way back when but this is still true today. Again, let me read it. These commandments that I give to you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them upon your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. When you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. So the reality is, is we're supposed to drive our kids nuts with Jesus and teaching them the word and the Bible 
and scripture and listening to the Holy Spirit. And we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to inundate them with it. If they don't like it, too bad. You're the parent and it's your responsibility to do this. This is what this says. Deuteronomy 6, 6 through 9. Okay, so I've went over five minutes, but I'm telling you, this is imperative. You have to teach them these things. Okay? It's, it's huge. Lord, please help me as a parent to listen to your Holy Spirit and to teach them each one individually the way they need to be taught. To love them the way they need to be loved. To care for them the way they need to be cared for. God, you made my boys and you know what works for them. Show me and help me because I want them to love you with all of their heart, with all of their mind, with all of their soul, and with all of their strength, and to love their neighbor as themselves. I seriously do. Thank you, Jesus.